Canva for beginners. Welcome. This video is a comprehensive overview of how to navigate and use Canva. This video is going to be heavily geared towards Canva Pro, the paid version of Canva, as I truly believe that with Canva Pro, you become a professional and I show you how. As a disclaimer, this video is not sponsored by Canva. It truly is just me sharing my absolute love for this platform as it truly is a brilliant place on the internet. Now I do have an affiliate link. So if you have the free version of Canva and you you want to follow along in this video go ahead and use my affiliate link in the description box down below so you can try Canva Pro for 30 days free this video is going to be broken down into three categories the first is how to navigate the Canva dashboard or the home page the second is the different types of content and digital assets you can create on Canva and finally how to navigate and use the intuitive drag and drop editing window to design your Canva designs be sure to stay till the end of this video because because I share some Canva coins or golden nuggets that nobody is really talking about on Canva and they are so clutch. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe because you know I got the vibes. Let go. All right, friends, here we are at the Canva dashboard or homepage. So let's start off with the top here. So this is the hamburger button that will collapse the left-hand panel on the side here so you can open it, close it. This Canva emblem is really just to always bring you back to the Canva homepage, which is this. Here you'll see the Canva design spotlight with some templates that are pretty poppin'. These different types of genres that you can take a look at. There's so much you can create on Canva, but we'll, we'll get into that later. Here we have a, the business tab here. You can see the different types of industries and education. Um, as well as we, if we go to here, we'll see the plans and pricing and the learning tab here where you'll find lots of tutorials that Canva actually puts out themselves. But I wanna pay attention to these plan and pricing. So as I said, this video is gonna be heavily geared towards the pro version of Canva, but let's go ahead and take a look between the pricing and what you get with each side of Canva. So with Canva Pro, you get all of this. Go ahead and pause this video and take a screenshot if you would like, but throughout this video, you'll clearly see the difference between the free and the pro version as we'll go and go ahead and talk about all of the Canva Pro features. Now, just to point out, if you see this Canva crown right here, every time you see this, that means it is a Canva Pro element and you'll see that throughout the homepage and when you're creating your design. So stay tuned for that. Now, if we go to continue to go across the panel, we'll see this download app. So you can actually download this app on your desktop, I believe. Here is your settings or account toggle. If you click that, some notifications. So if you are sharing templates with others or people are sending you templates, that's when you'll see that kind of activity. This is your create a design button. So you can search designs in here, search for what you need. So if you need like a YouTube thumbnail, you can search for that specific type of template and the the size of that template so the, the specific dimensions that you will need and you can of course also search for different templates up in this tab right here the search icon and here you can also customize size so if you need if you need a specific template design and you know the size of it you can create it either in the pixels in inches millimeters or centimeters so that you can do. You can also edit a photo in here and I'll show you that later. And you can import PDF files in here as well into your Canva dashboard. Now this is your, also where you can go into your account settings and get help and of course get to see all of the Canva apps which is also located over here as well. So it's a lot of information. You can search things in various places at the same time. So let's head over to this left-hand side. Here you see, again, this is the homepage that we are currently on. This is also where you'll see all of your recent designs if I scroll down. So you'll see your recent designs and some of the announcement that Canva has in regards to different and new features that they just launched on the platform. And you'll also see some of the different templates that Canva will recommend you. But again, let's start on this left-hand side here. If we click here, we'll see templates. And this is basically all the templates that Canva has. And again, you can search this by which platform you are creating on. So if you're creating something for your business, for social media, video, everything here is categorized. Everything you need to create, again, all your digital assets are here as well. So let's just go back here. Then we have the projects tab. So this is all of your projects that you are currently working on. And for myself, I like to categorize everything in folders. So the way I see this is kind of like having a Google Drive or a cloud-based uh, 
system where you are categorizing your template. So for me, I like to put everything in different folders. So if I have, I have a YouTube folder, I have an Instagram folder, I have everything categorized. So it's not all over the place because if it, if it was, all your designs would be everywhere. And I don't really work with that. So, but I mean, you do you. And again, with Canva Pro, you can have unlimited, I think unlimited folders and you have about one terabyte of cloud storage. So that's super clutch. Now you can, again, see all your projects or like you can click this tab you can see all your folders here you can click all your designs all your images and all your photos so this is where again you can upload all of your photos as well so as i mentioned you can create folders that house your templates but you can also create folders that house different uh, images or files so in this case i have a folder here that houses all of my headshots for my thumbnails and I like to do that because I'm able to, uh, when I'm in the editing window, I can access my headshots e easily and I'll show you how to do that later in this video. So let's go back to the homepage here. So again, if you click the Canva, Canva icon, it will bring you back to the homepage. Now, if we scroll down this toolbar here, we'll see brand. So this is your brand kit. So with Canva Pro, you can have multiple brand kits. And I do have a video of how to set one up, but essentially all you're doing here is adding in your logos and your photos that you use often for your brand. You're setting your, your color palette. So with the hex codes, you just go in here and put in the hex codes and then you save your different or different style preferred fonts that you use in your brand. So this is a way to keep everything you create on brand. And I'll show you how to use your brand kit when you are designing your designs. So here is the content planner. I haven't really delved too much into this yet, but for that, from what I know, you can basically schedule out some posts so you can create the design and schedule it out to Instagram and I believe Facebook as well. So again, I haven't gone much into this, but I heard some, heard really great things about it. So check it out if you like. And let's go down here, discover apps. Now this is all of, I would say, the third-party apps that Canva is associated with. You can also access all of these apps when you are designing in the design window or the editing window, but this is a great place to discover what Canva has available in the editing window. Now we do have smart mockups here, which is great if you are doing design for physical products and things like that. So it's very easy to use. So if, if, if I just click on this one, all you have to do is select it and then you can import a an image you have here or you can import a design here. So let's say, you know, I'm working on this YouTube thumbnail and I wanna see what it looks like. So I'm just gonna randomly select this one here and just give it a moment to populate and it will actually show you this smart mockup just like that. And if you want to use it, you just save mockup, but that's how quick and easy it is to use these smart mockups. And I absolutely love them as well. So now you'll see here the starred panel. So this is where all of you remember again, how we talked about folders. So this is basically my folders. Now, in order to have this starred or pinned to the side, you'll see this special star right here so you can unstar or star it and then you can just drag it up wherever you need it so i have all of these folders or project folders on the side because i go to them quite regularly remember how i said i was going to show you how to edit a photo so if we go back to the create a tab hit the edit photo button and we can import photos from your actual desktop or your library. But in this case, I already have them in here, so I'm just gonna cancel. So I'm going to go to my projects tab. I'm going to go to my headshots, because remember we have our photos in a folder. And what we can do is click on this one, and it's gonna actually gonna open up this editing window. This is really great. You can also edit your photos inside the editing window when you are creating designs, but let's just say we just wanted to edit one photo. So Canva has all of these different filters to play around with you have so if we click on this it's going to do that we can play around with the intensity of it go back we can also adjust the other different you know things like brightness contrast highlights textures and clarities things like that and we can also crop it to different sizes so let's say we want this to be the you know a instagram feed post so we can just click on that one click done and then we can see the before and the after in terms of the adjustments to the filter. And then we can import this into a design if we want to, or just click save. 
and we can download this directly back to our computers or just save in Canva. So that's how you edit your photos in Canva. Now back to the video. Now let's move on to what kinds of content and digital assets that you can create using Canva. So, of course, you can create all of these social media posts for all these various platforms and Canva does a wonderful job of creating these templates in different segments. So this is something that you can refer to as well. And again, you can search for anything in regards to social media. So if you go Instagram, you can also search it from here. So, but I got to click on templates because you can either search through templates or you can actually search through your projects, which is a nice little toggle that you can do with the homepage search feature. Now, the next type of things that you can create on Canva is presentations. That's pretty self-explanatory right here. So Canva gives you a bunch of those. You can also create videos. So a big thing for me is I like to create lots of little videos, some reels, TikToks here in Canva. It's pretty intuitive, really easy to make using Canva, all these long form or short form videos. You can see it looks like that. It's great. And also there's lots of print products that you can create here. So lots of people like to create different kinds of cards, some yeah, newsletters, flyers, things of that sort as well. So, and we also have what is website. So these are single page websites that Canva has created. So basically, like I said, it's a single launch, single page landing page, if you will. And it's viewed as a website. So there's a bunch of templates that you can go through, you can play with. So in order to see how to use these, you can very well just click on one and it'll show you that type of template. Now, if we go back here, you can also preview that template. So let me Go back to the websites here and let's go see all there should be a way to yes okay so if you click on these three dots here you can customize this template or preview this template and that's what i want to do is to preview it and so now we can just it scroll remember it's a one page landing page or website and that's what it looks like and then you can go ahead and just use the customize this template button now go back into here and if we go back to the home page again we will see whiteboards which is a also new feature of canva so think of this as an endless canvas it's a working space or collaborative working space if you have a team this is great if you have you know different mind maps if you're creating different flow charts or you have meeting notes it's a centralized place of information that people can refer to again if you have a team but i like to use these whiteboards as a way to mind map or to create um, a plan for branding so for in this case if i go to my personal brand kit i just revised my personal brand and i used a whiteboard to basically create my moon board and hone in on the type of palette that i wanted so that's how i use my whiteboard and next up we have canva docs which is newly released by canva i've been waiting for this so think of it as if photoshop and google documents or a word document had a baby and boom you got canva docs this is absolutely incredible i've been waiting for this so long trust me if you are a real estate agent this will be super clutch when you're creating your buyer's guide or seller guide so those videos are coming soon so stay tuned be sure to like and subscribe right now so this is a wonderful like i said this is a way to centralize information create incredible documents and you're able to just make this the document of your dream so it's not boring and has all these text so this really is a video in and of itself to explain but now we can create documents on canva and make it look super beautiful so that is pretty much the types of content that you can create with canva you have docs you have whiteboards presentations social media video print projects websites and really so much more every single day there are different types of different types of templates coming out every single day. You can create anything and everything on Canva. It truly is the centralized hub for creating media and content. And I use it every day in my business. All right, so let's move on to actually creating a piece of content. So for ease, let's just go ahead and create a simple Instagram post. I'm just gonna do a 1080 by 
1080 and i'm going to show you how to actually navigate this editing window right here so to be to start off we have the home page button that will bring you back to the home page this is the file tab and you have assortment of tools to play around with here nothing too crazy or drastic here we have create a new design import a design you have your rulers and guides so this is where you can create some guides here just like that very simple to use you can drag them on drag them off and then you can turn off your guides from here you can also show your margins and if you are creating print products you can show your bleed lines as well now i'm just going to turn those off here and then here you have find it find and replace text this is great if you are working on a presentation and say you have a certain word on every single page and you want to change it over that's basically how you would do that but in this case we are creating a simple one page post now if you go back here you'll see we can switch brand kits from here so again if you have camera pro you can have multiple and i have six so i can flip through the different types of brand kits very easily so i have my personal banner one if i go to my real estate one here it is and then I have my different colors in here. So if we go up to file again, this is the save button, but the wonderful thing about Canva is that it auto saves, but it's always nice to save this properly. And the next thing down here is save to folder, because again, remember we can create folders and this is a very easy way to save this design to, let's say your Instagram folder if you have one. And if we go here, we can view comments, which if you have a team or sharing this design, you can create comments as well. And this is version history. So if you are creating this design and then you end up not liking this design. So right now this is a fresh design, but let's say I was working over this design within a week, but let's say uh, we are on day five, but I realized that I liked the design on day three. So it'll show you the version history of that. So I hope that makes sense as me explaining it let's see here file and then we have make a copy so you can make easily make a copy of this sign it, it's very easy to do that way you can also if we go back here we can download it from here and we can open this in the desktop app and you have your help button here so lots of things to play around with very intuitive here we have the resize button so let's say this again this is a square post and we want to make this into let's see an Instagram story, which is 1080 by 1920. We would click this and then you can either resize this exact design itself or you can create a copy of this design in another project window. So let's go ahead and just copy and resize. And it basically resizes this over in a different size without damaging, I guess, this template here. Now let's see, we have our undo or redo buttons again this is your all changes are saved so it's saved properly in the cloud this is where you can change the name of your document okay if i can spell today this is your uh, this is where you can add people on this design if you would like if you have a team and this is also where you can share your design as well and this here is like i said if you share this as a template you can also see how many people are viewing this and the engagement you have on here as well but you don't need to really worry about that all too much and then up here we have the share button so this is also where you can download this this is where you can share your designs and it's pretty intuitive from here but we will get into that a little bit later. Now let's dive into this left-hand side panel here, which is the hub of everything you really need to know about. So here we are in the templates tab right here. And this is where Canva is basically showing all you, showing you all of these different types of templates that you can play around with. You can also search in here. So let's say we want something real estate. We have all these designs here. If we are doing, let's say, fashion you can search everything here play around with it again very easy to use and all you have to do is just find one that you like and then you can click on it and it will just pop up just like that and if you don't like that you can just undo now here we have the elements tab so this is really where you are going to be creating your design from you have everything you need in here so here we have again all of your elements so you have lines and shapes so this is all your nice geometric shapes right there then we have some graphics that you can play around with that canva also shows you and again everything you want can be searched in here so we also have charts tables frames which i really like and enjoy using so basically what you do is you just click on this and this is a frame and all you can do is simply upload a video 
video or a photo that you have in this uploads tab. So this is again, very intuitive use upload tab. You can search your computer and just simply upload that to your uploads library. And all you have to do is just drag in your preferred image. And again, you can also drag in some videos. This is really high level stuff. I'm going through this really fast, but that's how you use frames. Okay. Going back to the elements tab, we also have again, your grid. So if you're creating different types of collages, this is great. You just simply click on it and then you can play around with the sizing of it and make sure that, you know, nothing is moving when you're dropping in your photos and videos. It's a great way to, again, create collages or even vision boards, which I do every single year. Going back, let's see here at the bottom. And then we have different collections of stickers that different artists have crafted and created and that are all in here. But again, you can search anything from here in this tab right here. And it's very intuitive, very easy. So let's say we are looking for Instagram icon here. Just go click see all and you can click very easy. Let's see if we wanted to look for, let's see here, fireworks. We'll see some animations or graphics in here. So you'll have some of them being animated. So moving, or you'll have some stagnant ones like this. Again, you can also search for it, whether it's going to be a, a sticker or animated. So let's say I'm looking for a house and I have all these options, but let's say I want to look for a specific house. So if I click on these three dots right here, and I want, let's say, this exact color of blue. I'm going to apply that. And let's see here, I want animation, static or animated. I'm gonna go static, because I don't think there's gonna be an animated blue house, but let's see. And you can also search for free elements or pro elements, depending on which version of Canva that you have. But here we have blue houses. Ta-da! All right, I think that's a birdhouse, but you get the point. And that's pretty much it for your elements tab there. Again, very easy to use. Again, here is your uploads tab. So this is where you can upload your images, your videos, um, and this is all in one centralized place. And again, you can also access your folders or projects in the actual editing window. So it's right underneath the text tab. So the text tab is pretty uh, self-explanatory. You have some different options to play around with things like that. So we go here, I have your editing tab, but let me go back to that project window just quickly before we go into how to edit some text here. So there's a few cool things to play around with. Now with your projects tab, again, make sure you put everything into folders because this is going to be super helpful when you're trying to get different, let's say headshots. So I have my headshots right here, but let's say I wanted to Let's see, let's say I wanted to use a design from somewhere else. So this is a YouTube thumbnail, but let's say I just, for some reason, wanted to copy it over onto this square Instagram post. So very simply, all you have to do is click on your design. So this is a separate Canva design that I am looking at in the projects folder. So I hope that makes sense. So these aren't just photos. You can either access photos or you can access your actual other Canva project. So I hope that makes sense. All right, so underneath we have access to Canva photos. So this is stock photos that Canva gives. Again, you can search everything and anything like you can in the elements. You can also search by different colors. If you have certain brand colors, you can go ahead and do that. So if we go house, if I can spell house right, house, you have all these different photos here, but let's say I'm looking for, let's see, yellow. Well, let's see what pops up, apply filter, and you have all these photos in that specific brand color. So that's a little quick ninja tip there for you. And then we also have styles. So let's say, we had a template here. So let's go back up to templates. Let me create another page here. So let's say we have this template here and we want to play around with the different types of styles. So we have a template. We're gonna go to the styles window. So let's say we didn't have a brand kit, but you have access to your brand kit right here, but I have too many colors right there. But let's say we want to see what this color palette would look like on that template. 
So let's click on that and you can continue to click on it to play around with the different sequence of colors. But let's say we have our brand in place, you can play around with it by clicking your brand colors just like that. And it's also applying your text here as well, if we click on that. All right, so if we click on this color palette, we'll do that and we'll click on this text and it will change just like that. So that's an easy way to apply your brand colors to a specific template. I know we're going around in circles here, but there's just so much to play around with with Canva. Now underneath that styles tab, we have the audio tab. So if you have Canva Pro, you have access to a library of all of these different types of music. So this is great if you are creating a YouTube intro or a YouTube outro. I do have those videos on my channel, so you can check them in the description box below or linked in this in the cards. So this is great as it, again, you can create videos on Canva. So you have videos and you have music and there you have it. Super cool YouTube intro. And underneath that, we have stock videos from Canva as well. And again, you can search for whatever you want. So again, house or park, and you have, and it's very easy. You can just drag this in. You can also, let me create a new page here. We can actually drag this here and place it as the background of that specific page. And from here we can edit the video so we can adjust things like the brightness, the contrast, if you'd like, we can also adjust the duration of this things of the clip. So we can drag it in like that. I can drag this and I can drag the playhead. Say I want this specific section right here, click done. And let's see here. We can also crop cause this is a, I think this is a long video in terms of the length of it. So we can play around with the positioning and the crop as well. And we can flip it like that. And I believe, let's see, we can also animate this video if we, no, we're not gonna, hold on. We can animate this video if it looks like this and we can make it rise, make it pan. So this is a different panel in and of itself. So if you've noticed, every time we click on a certain element, you'll see what we can edit at the top here. If we click on the text, we can see what we can edit at the top here. So every piece of content, if you will, has its own editing window at the top. So underneath the videos tab, we have the backgrounds tab. So this is very easy to use. You just click and then it just pops right in as your background. Or if you want this one, pops right in. And again, you can search for different type of backgrounds. Again, very intuitive, very easy to use. Search for everything and anything you need in these bars here. So here you'll see my headshots and some other things that are kind of populated in here as you start to go through your projects tab. And if you use it pretty often, it just somehow pops into either your side tab here. I'm not exactly sure how or why, but if you see here, there's this little X here that I, if I click on that, it pops it right out. But anyways, uh, let's go into, so these are, so these are different folders I have here. If I just click off of them, click off here. So now I have all of the Canva tools. So we have, we were, we were in backgrounds. Now let's go to logos. So again, if you create your brand kits, this is where your logos will be at. So here we are in my real estate one. If I go to my other one here, I'll have all of these different logos here as well. And below that, the logos tab, we have our apps tab. So again, remember how on the, the Canva home dash page, we looked at the different apps that Canva is associated with. This is all right over here. Again, there are so many, but I typically use this YouTube one, which is really easy. So all you have to do is, you know, if you are specifically using a video from your channel, so let's go ahead and quickly grab a video from your channel quickly. Yes, quickly, quickly, quickly. So let's say we're gonna grab this one here. You just basically grab the URL, go back into your search tab here, paste that URL in, and then you can plop over your actual YouTube video and you can actually play it in here if you double click to interact. Yeah, just like that just like that. You can play it just like that. And that's a cool way to integrate your videos, especially if you're creating presentations on Canva. So again, this is another ninja tip that I love about Canva. Okay. So that was pretty much that left-hand panel in a nutshell. 
I know that was kind of super messy, super all over the place, but let me just delete this right here. Okay. And then again, depending on what types of apps that you use, you see how I clicked on this YouTube one? Now Canva is showing it right over here. So that's always there. And you can create QR codes here, which is really cool. So that again is a whole different video in itself. There's so much you can do with Canva, but let's kind of move on to these other little windows up here. So at the top. So remember how I said, if you click on the different text or the different elements, I'll show you what you can edit in here. So with text, you can of course change the different types of text to anything and everything that you want. If you search, you know, calligraphy or handwriting, it also shows you kind of the different types of topography that you can have here. So if you click on handwriting, it shows you all the different types of fonts that Canva kind of has. Again, there are some pro fonts here. So it has the Canva crown, so that is a pro font. So again, you can change the type of font, you can change the size of the font, we can change the color of the font. And again, if you navigate using your brand kit, again, let's go back to this real estate one here, we can change it to your specific brand colors right here. So that's how you can use your brand colors. And again, if we go to the text box here, we have our preferred fonts here, depending on the different types of brand kit as well. So we have our headings, our second heading and our body text here. Now, again, let's click on here. We can also change where this text is. So in the middle on the side, we can also change, you know, depending on the type of, sorry, the type of text that we have here. So let's do open sans here because I think we can change the boldness and italicize it. So let's say we have this, now you'll see up here that we can make the font bold, we can italicize it, we can underline it, we can change it to undercase, to all caps, and here we can have, we have bullet points here, and we can change that. So if you continue to click on it, you can have the bullet points or you can have the numbers. And then we have the spacing of the text here, the line spacing as well. So let's just click on the effects tab here and I'm actually gonna click off this underline one. So we click the effects tab and as you can see, it opens up a different panel here. So we have different styles and effects that we can add to this text box. So we can do a shadow, we can do a lift, we can hollow it out, splice it. And again, when you click on each, each um, style, you can also see that we can change the different elements or features of the style. So this in terms of offset is the, the shadow of how far it is, the direction of where we want the shadow, the blur of it. You can't really see what I'm talking about right now, but see the blur of this and the transparency. We can change the color of this shadow. So again, lots of things to play around with. And if we continue on with the different types of styles, we have this echo one, we have this glitch one, you can play around with the different kinds of colors, neon, so we can play around with the intensity of that, and we have background, so this is kind of that block text look if you like. You can change the roundness, and you can change the spread, the transparency, and again you can change the background color of that as well, and just click none. And we also have what is known as the curve text here. So let me, let me just, let me make this all into one line and extend this. So it is one line, make that small here. I'm going to just delete this for now. Oops, not that one. And I'm gonna make this one long text. And let's say we wanna make this into a circle for some reason, we're gonna do that. So we'll just click on that, click on the effects, and then we can go to the curve. And as we can see, it curves the text and you can actually make it into an entire circle like this if you want. There you go. I do believe you can also add additional, additional uh, effects to this as well with it being in the curved position. So we can do this glow one, these, and this one looks really cool if you're creating logos and things like that. So again, lots of things to play around with in Canva. And let's say we want to animate this for some reason and we can play around with all of these different types of transitions or animations. But let's say we want, we have a different section here for writing. 
So a fun one to play around with is this typewriter one, the ascend, shift. So there's so much you can do with Canva. You can animate most of your text and your elements, things like that, just like that. All right, and then here we have the positions tab. So we can change this, you know, let's say if this was off center and we want it to be in the center, we just click the center and straight in the middle. And let's say we have a different text right here. So I'm gonna show you something really, really cool, okay? So let's say we have a different set of text that is different from this style, this color and everything. So what we're gonna do is click this text box, click the text box, and then go up to here, you'll see this paint button or this paint roller and it's copy style. So you wanna click on that and then now we can click on this text box to make it look like this one. So you can see that it copied over the same exact curve. If we open this up, it opened up the same curve amount and it also applied the neon and the size of the text and the style of the text. And it's a really easy way to copy over style, if you will. Now here we have, if we continue to play around with this specific text box here, we can play around with the transparency if you'd like. You can also play around with the transparency for your elements. So if we want this to be kind of faded in the background, we can do it just like that. And another thing that we can do here is paste in links. So let's say for some reason, no, actually I'm gonna show you this. So let's say we have a presentation. If we were on a presentation and you had your Instagram link, let's see here. Let's say you have your Instagram or rather, let's see here. Let's say we had a presentation and at the end we had a call to action and we want people to go to our YouTube channel by clicking on the YouTube element right here. So what we can do is click on this, go up to this chain or this link button and click on that. And basically all you have to do, very simple, let's say we want this video again. And then we are going to paste that URL into here. And then you'll see here that Canva says it's linked. So basically, if you share this design as a presentation or a Canva website or a PDF. This is a clickable link or clickable icon. You can also add links to text as well. So people, if you have your website link, you can add the hyperlink to this text. So that's another nitty trick that you can play around with. Again, lots of things that Canva does, lots of little things. So the next thing I wanna show you here up on this panel is this lock button. So let's say we wanted to lock down these two elements here. So all you have to do is to just basically drag them or select just one of them. But I wanna select both of these, so I just click and drag with my mouse, and then I click on this lock button here. And what that is going to do is lock this element down so I don't accidentally move them. So that's a great thing to do if you're playing, uh, if you have lots of layered elements on top of one another. All right, and now finally, what we can go through is these tabs up here for each page of your document. So here we have page one, you can name it, name it whatever you want. You can do design one or Instagram post, you can name it whatever you want. Uh, here we can navigate so this tab down. So let's say this is currently in page one position, but we want it to be in page two position so we can move it down. And now we're on page two. Here we can lock the placement of this tab. So now you can't, oops, I guess you can. That means you can't, sorry. So this means if you lock this down, that means you can't move anything on this design. So I'm going to click that off. So here you can move it up or down. You can lock down this design so nothing can move it on this page. We can also make a duplicate of this page. So we click on here, it's gonna duplicate your page to down here as well. And we can also delete this page. So that deletes that page there. And now we can also create different pages in between, just like that. And if we go down to the bottom tab here, we have notes. 
So we can add different notes for different pages. So again, if you were creating a presentation, you can have your own personal notes for each page. And then when you display that as a presentation, they, the audience can't see it, only you can see it. And down here, if I click out of that, we have down here, we have the scale button so we can zoom in and out. And if we click this button right here, the grid view, we can also see all of our pages in a grid. And let's say we want to click onto this design. I just double click and it brings me to that page. And if we click on this button right next to it, it's the preview, preview button. And then it just shows you this all, all in full. And this is being played as a video right now because we have some some video elements in here and at the top here because we have a video in this Instagram design it's being played as a video so if we click up here at the top we can also play this video but I just have a random schmage of all of these different elements on here so that is the breakdown of that bottom panel down at the bottom finally let's say we wanted to download this design and it's really not a design but anyways let's just click the share button and let's say I just wanted to download page five as a picture okay so we would hit the download button and as you can see here we have different file types so again this is being played as a video so if you download this it's going to be an mp4 file but I don't want the video I just want the photo so I'm going to click png and I'm going to click on the pages so we can I'm going to unselect them and I'm just going to scroll down and just select number five and all you have to do is press done and it is going to download page number five for you but let's say you wanted to download just page number four as the video itself again you can do the same thing go to download make sure you're on the mp4 video just like that and we are going to unselect and we are just going to select page four with the video and just click download and we'll download to your desktop one more thing here in regards to the different types of file types again canva has jpeg png for pictures we have pdf standard and print for the different types of pdf svg file if you're doing vector design so that's not really something you really have to worry about we have the mp4 video as i showed you and canva also does gifs which are the looped short clipped videos as well and that is it for the canva window there in its entirety but as i promised in the beginning of this video i'm going to show you guys some bonus canva coins or golden nuggets that nobody is really talking about and they are so clutch so for this first ninja tip you have to make sure that you have canva downloaded onto your phone so canva has a mobile app for your phone now what we are going to do is let's say because right now we are on the window or the desktop version of canva right now and let's say i wanted to view this design on my phone so what we can do here is go up to the top click share and if we go to i believe the more button down here we can send this design to our phone so click to send a phone you can either email this link or you can scan the code and I much prefer to scan the code so I'm just gonna make sure I'm on the code here let me go ahead and open up my photos app on my phone here let me scan this I'm just gonna open it up like that open open, open. and now if we wait we're gonna see this design on our phones and there we have it just like that we have this exact design right on our phones and then we can download this directly to our phone so that's a neat little trick for you the second canva coin is that you can basically create any design and display it as a website so right now we are in a instagram feed template but let's say it was a presentation or whatever it was and we have again this video right here so let me just delete these pages here because we don't need them uh, right here and then if i go up to the share button and if i go to the more button again and we go to the website right here you see that guys website if i click on that i can actually display this as a website so i usually like to do the scrolling one which is again that single page website look that we all love and enjoy so go ahead and click the scrolling one open the website and it's going to open this website in a different tab and now we have this design displayed as a website so that is a super easy way to create websites if you will from your designs and as again this is an embedded youtube video so if we click on it it's actually going to play the video Ah, amazing amazing 
All right, and the next tip I have for you is the dark mode. So as you can see here, my display or editing window is in dark mode and you can actually change that in camera from the white version to the dark version. But for me personally, I like it in dark mode because I can see my designs and the, and the colors so much better for me. And it's easier on my eyes because I literally sit here and design all day. Anyways, so basically to turn on your dark mode, go to the home page again, and we want to hit that Coggle button at the top with the account settings. You can hit it from here or just hit your account settings right there. And if we scroll down, you'll see themes. So depending on your computer, like I'm on an Apple, so depending on the time of day, it will change it from the light mode to dark mode. But I usually just like this set as dark mode. So if I click back to light, it's gonna do that. But if we go back to dark, it just looks so much better. And that's how you go from light to dark mode. All right, my friends, so that was Canva in a nutshell a comprehensive compilation of how to use this platform. I know it was kind of crazy, it was messy, but listen, Canva is brilliant and there's so much you can do. So be sure to check out my other tutorials on my channel as I, I deep dive into how to actually create designs with Canva. But if you want to put your Canva skills to the test, I highly recommend you check out this video right over here where I show you how to create an animated Gmail signature that is sure to impress everyone you know. So if you're ready, three, two, one.